The question is, are you an SUV lover or a premium business sedan lover? Okay, well, I think I know the answer because uh, most people love SUVs these days. But that doesn't mean that people aren't jumping on this sedan or business sedan sort of bandwagon. So Volkswagen have um, entered the market with their flagship Arteon. So I know it's a bit of a strange name and everybody wants to know what it means. Sorry, I came to a dead end. <laughs> I call this sack. So Art describes this fastback, this fastback's harmonious and emotionality. Okay. And the on, the eon, um, a lot of sounds, the cameras that go away, the heads up display <laughs> that makes a noise, I'll show you. As it comes up, like, and then the camera goes, it's not a problem, just something I've noticed. Anyways, the, uh, the Eon, crosses I can't say it, describes it as the premium product. Right, now we've got the name out of the way. I don't really understand it. I quite like it though. So we have said goodbye to the Passat here in South Africa, but this doesn't necessarily replace that because this actually sits above that um, and therefore is now the flagship model. One thing, this car has got striking good looks. Everybody that drives past me or at a ro stops at a robot or if I park somewhere wants to come and have a look at it and check it out because it really is quite a striking car. So the interior is very familiar um, and because I'm in the R-Line trim level I've got all the fancy pants sort of extras uh, which is very cool including this 9.2 inch nav entertainment system which is my favorite infotainment system of all RVWs. Um, they just work the best. Even though they don't have a volume knob, still I can almost handle it because ah, shh, because everything else works so well. I really need to start putting my phone on silent when I'm filming. So you can choose between two engines. You have a two litre turbo diesel and then you've got this which is the top of the range two two liter turbocharged petrol engine you get 206 kilowatts of power and 350 newton meters of torque it gets you to 100 k's in what uh 5.6 seconds um so it is quick i have one thing off the bat it is fast but there's just that it's like a, it's something to stop start as well i find this in some especially premium cars more so i turn it off that that initial stick so as i want to go there's like a an in tiny tiny teeny tiny delay but it's noticeable enough that when i'm trying to get quickly into a circle or before a car comes or whatever i'm like and then you're like wah and then the power kicks in so that is a little bit annoying. It could also be down to the way that I drive, let's be fair. <laughs> it's like the walls are caving in. Sometimes I feel like giving up, but I just can't. It isn't in my blood. Like I said, this is the fancy pants model and the art in itself is to be luxurious and premium and everything and it is I mean it's beautiful to drive um, I don't know if it feels luxurious enough it's almost perfectly Volkswagen which is an excellent thing so I don't need it to be more luxurious but I think someone shopping in this range might want that and I don't know if it's just a brand image thing that VW in your mind is a people's car and it's not you know up there with all the like posh models but I sort of think that's what makes me love it more because um, it isn't there's no snobbery involved but it is a lovely drive um, as you can expect from VW it isn't in my blood. It isn't in my blood. sometimes it, oh or not 
So the range starts at just under 600,000 Rand, but this top of the model, which is the two liter, the petrol, like I said, the 206 kilowatt um, R-line four motion DSG comes in at just under 700,000 Rand. I will end with this. If you are a golf lover, but you've now grown out of it and you need more space or you need um, a more premium feel, if you will, then this is the car for you. I think a golf lover would love it if you loved a Passat. I loved a Passat. I know they were like bland as dishwater, but I loved it the same way I loved a Jetta. I just think it's so practical and they're so lovely to drive. I do wish the Dan's had windscreen wipers at the back. I know they can't and all that, blah, 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 blah. but crisis, it would just make life so much easier. It isn't in my blood. Um, I feel like that was a very dramatic ending. <laughs> well, at least I cracked myself up, peeps. Mm.